Heavenly Father, we thank you for creating us, for uh, making us in your image, for all the blessings that you give to us. When we ruined that, uh, you sent your son Jesus to pay for us and to restore things. And, and so we pray that you keep us in that one true faith. Uh, be with us through your word and uh, preserve us until that day when he comes back to finally restore all things completely. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. So, um, <clears throat> question about the image of God from last time. I, I have to, I think last time, um, here's the thing with Genesis 1. It's not really about sort of creation and evolution and all that kind of stuff. Um, but the problem is, is that's what everybody talks about when they talk about it nowadays. Yeah. And um, so, unfortunately, we have to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's not really about that. No. <laughs> so, um, all right. So, but th one of the things it is about is, and this this ties nicely in with um, <coughs> with our study today when we're going to be looking at Adam and Eve. Um, let's start with Genesis chapter one, verse twenty six. We're going to go all the way to the end? Um, yeah, go ahead. And God said, Let us make man in our image, in our likeness, and let them rule over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air, over the livestock, over all the earth, and over all the creatures that move along the ground. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air and over every living creature that moves on the ground. Then God said, I give you every seed-bearing plant on the face of the whole earth and every tree that has fruit with seed in it. They will be yours for food. And to all the beasts of the earth, and all the birds of the air, and all the creatures that move on the ground, everything that has the breath of life in it, I give every green plant for food, and it was so. God saw all that he w had made, and it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. All right. So, um... First of all, we see this, uh, God said, let us make man in our image. Who's he talking to? Probably Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. He says us, all right? And the angels didn't create us, so he says, let us create, all right? My note says his heavenly court. <laughs> okay. Um, but the angels didn't, or the heavenly court didn't create that. It's yeah, probably see. refers to to the divine beings who compose God's heavenly court. Well, you better get another Bible because that's in <laughs> <laughs> Trade that in on a newer model. It right. needs it. Now, <laughs> you could, if, if you don't want um, this to be talking about the Trinity, which I say, why not? Um, but you could look <laughs> at it as Probably. the word here for God is Elohim, which is a plural. All right, That word is used often for God. Um, but it's when you see I am at the end of a Hebrew word, that is the Hebrew version of adding an S to an English word. Um, it makes it plural. Um, so you see like cherubim and seraphim, that's just cherubs and seraphs. Um, and, uh, but it sounds more impressive, you know. <laughs> and uh, and so, so Elohim is, um, could be translated gods. All right. But it's actually, this is a Hebrew concept because uh, Shemayim, which is the heavens, is always plural. Mayim, which is the waters, is always plural. Um, and the idea is that in Hebrew there are certain words that, um, where they're always plural in order to have the, a sort of vast quantity, uh, immeasurable or, or something like that. Um, and so, so this plural here um, of of God 
is um, shows him as, as being vast. Now sometimes it is abbreviated to just L, um, or you have like that song El Shaddai. Yes. Um, right. So you know, in this yeah. verse in twenty six, it says, "Let us make man in our image after our likeness," and if it if it were this heavenly court. Well, uh, maybe that's not right. I was just going to well, say I I like envision maybe angels or something, which right. we're not like. But then down later in the verse, it says, "So God created man in His own image, in the image of God He created." God. So anyway, whatever. Right, right, but and and that indicates that no, this isn't the angels that He's talking to, because we're not created in the image of the angels. We're created in God's image, right? Um, and so, um. So even if you if you want to take this plural, it's it's really uh, it's fascinating how it's and, and you know and some people say well this was the, these were polytheists that these are the gods said let's make man but then it's in our image not images right and um and and so it, it always goes back to the singular um and in fact even interestingly even when you get to in Deuteronomy where it says hero Israel the Lord our God the Lord is one that word for one is also a plural <laughs> which is really if you if you look at the Hebrew it's kind of interesting um, well, and I think it's it, it's telling that the first part of the verse says our image and the second part says in his image so I think God's making it clear right that it is three that, and one yeah that God is a singular plurality yeah and image that doesn't mean looking but um, attributes right or? and that's that's the big question that we need to answer is what does it mean to be created in God's image now obviously not looking like him because God doesn't have a physical form all right so it's not that we look like him um, actually, when I was in eighth grade, I, I my um, professor showed some, or, or professor, my teacher, my English teacher, showed a picture of of God from something, and 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 he says, "I'll bet you thought she was black." And, ha ha, you know. And um, and 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 I said, I said, no, God is male because we were created in His image, and um, and and Adam was created first. And and he goes. <laughs> very good you know and which actually if you look at it, it says and they were created in his image male and female so that was it, it, it didn't hold up but I was able to was you know to get them <laughs> I haven't used that word in a long time or even heard it what's that chauvinistic chauvinistic <laughs> that's an old well, word I, I have a question if, yeah. if if Jesus doesn't come into the picture till l l later on you know in the Bible how was he able to create Jesus? Did he create it as a spirit? Okay, all right. God, this, all right. God has always been a Trinity from before there was such a thing as time. All right. Okay. For for eternity. Okay. And so um, God the Father, God the Son, God the and Father, Holy God the Son, spirit. God the Holy Spirit. All right. But none of that stuff came came about really until well, there's, further in the Bible. Right? Yeah. There's there's references to it. All right. Jesus, before he was called Jesus, yeah. was always God. Okay. okay. The Son of God has always existed. Okay. And um, but this is all spiritual stuff. I mean, this is in spiritual. This is form. as God. Yes. Okay. Right. Right. As, as a spirit. Okay. Right. I got you. He didn't become actually a person, and and then given the human name Jesus, until, um, you know, in Bethlehem, right? Um, well, in Nazareth, actually, if you know, you know, the whole life begins at conception thing. Um, it's always been a, a so he went from the spirit into the flesh. So he, yeah, the word became flesh and dwelt among us. Right. Okay. Um, so no, good question. So and this is something that you know we see these hints of the Trinity in the Old Testament. That it's definitely that concept is definitely there. You know, we already talked about the Spirit of God here, right? In in verse two, well, that's the Holy Spirit, right? In the Old Testament. A lot of times where you see, and I'll give you an example. Uh, we, what was it, last week um, we had the um, uh, Jacob wrestling with the angel of the Lord, all right? And then he says, I've seen God. Wait, was it an angel or was it with God? And he says, yes. 
because that word angel means messenger all right this was the messenger of God Jesus is the word which also translated message all right so so this was actually who is he wrestling with he was wrestling with Jesus <clears throat> and um, and so often when you see this and you always have to look at the context to find out exactly if, if that's actually whether it's just an angel or whether it's actually God um, because it uses this this word that's usually translated angel um, but but yeah you have to look at the context and a lot of times um, those where it says the angel of the Lord in the Old Testament it's actually the Son of God um, appearing uh, to them but it's it's what we call the pre-incarnate Christ he, he hasn't become flesh yet um, so so yeah there we see the Son active and and God's Spirit is mentioned all over the place in the Old Testament um, so and, and the Father is sort of the father as father is is mentioned the least but you know he's sort of implied anytime you talk about God even in the New Testament where it says um, in the the apostolic benediction may now may the um, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit sometimes just you know for clarification we'll kind of expand on that and say the love of God our Heavenly Father that's implied right um, but sometimes just to make sure you understand that when we say the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God well Jesus is God too so is the Holy Spirit you know mm -hmm. well, he's, just like he said he, Jesus said he, he thinks the Father that can, does, can do I can do but uh, I have uh, well it's it, through the years with, with Jesus you know I didn't never. I, I, I puzzle, tried to puzzle it out. He was born as a baby, and then he was telling the whole world before I, well, before Moses was, I was. Mm -hmm. Right. And that sort of floored a lot of people. I said, "Oh, wait, wait, this guy's only 53 years old, and he's, you know, he's making a statement like this." And that's right. sort of wandered people the wrong way. Yeah, yeah, they weren't real happy with that. Yeah. And and that was that was an interesting point because I had a friend of mine who used to be a Christian and isn't anymore, and and he said, you know, Jesus never claimed to be God. Yeah, he did right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah. he, he couldn't do what it, no. Well, he tried to convince him. He says, God, if you don't believe in me, to believe in the miracles that was, that was committed. And, sure. You know, this yeah. this happened. Mm -hmm. Oh, so we we just we got a comment. Um, Mike Finnickle's watching. He says, "When's the rapture?" Oh wait, wrong Bible study. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you. I'll tell tell him. I'll tell him on Sunday. He I'll you. tell you on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> he says, "My real comment." You talked a little bit last week. But I always I get, get a, a cut a, off. Write the rest of your message. I sort of. Uh, what do you think? You know, well, they made. Uh, well, the, the, uh, God and Christ were beings so it was just like an experiment okay they made man say hey, Jesus this works out pretty well you know <laughs> let's, let's, you know, okay and so they made a whole big bunch of people <laughs> well I well, don't think God experiments I mean you know because he knows yeah. how it's all going to turn out that's we do experiments to see whether it's going to work or not and, and then um, later on down down the road uh, hey, oh big mistake so he sends right. the flood yeah well <laughs> let's you know, try and, all over again and, and that's the thing if you know when a scientist do experiments if if it doesn't work out you scrap it and you start mm -hmm. over completely yeah. you don't even you don't you know um so god loved us enough to at least preserve us and mm -hmm. not go well that didn't work <laughs> blow up the world you know <laughs> so <laughs> he still loves us all right um so back to the image of god what does this mean the image of God and, and I think we have the key to it in in verse 26 it says God so let us make man in our image in our likeness and let them rule over the fish of the sea the birds of the air over the livestock over all the earth and over all the creatures to move along the ground so what is the image of God superior it's authority yeah it's God's authority we act as as his representatives on earth. That's that's pretty huge. 
And that should make a believer out of anybody. You'd think. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, that's that's just a it, for for God, and, and you know, and you think about that. That God um, said, uh, you know, that, that He takes these these finite, frail, you know, human beings, and gives us His image, gives us His authority. You know, and I, I think about when I, um, as a pastor, stand up and say, as a called and ordained servant of of Christ and by His authority, I forgive you all your sins. Who am I to forgive your sins? Uh, but it's as a servant of Christ and by His authority, mm -hmm. not mine. Is there anything in this image, as they were created perfectly, um, connected with the ability to love, um, almost uh, the agape type love is what I mean? Is, is that at all, or is it strictly just this authority that's the image? Um, you know, with with God's authority, love's kind of all wrapped up in that. I mean, think about how God shows His authority. You know, um, certainly through the law, um, but also definitely with the gospel. Um, so I, I, I don't know that that necessarily comes through explicitly <coughs> here. Mm -hmm. um, but we do have. I mean, there's other places and that that talk about that image and you know and things and. Um, where I'm drawing a blank at the location at the top of my head, but um, where it, it talks about loving people because they have the image of God. Um, it's in one of the epistles. Um, and so it's it's a it's a it's a term of respect and um, uh, just. You know, the, I mean, think of it this way: treat other people with um, with respect because they're created in the image of God, and and we're called on, in a sense, to be Jesuses to each other, um, to to show that love. And um, uh, there's right now there's a a kind of a trend going around. Mike, by the way, um, you get uh, 